Welcome to World Alert Updates. Subscribe and press the bell icon for more updates. Good evening. Today headlines from Manila, Tokyo and Washington stunned the world. Ghost fleet in the South China Sea, one banner read. Philippines unveils secret drone program, screamed another. The news sent a shockwave across Asia. For years the region's balance seemed set, big navies patrolled, smaller nations watched. But today, the Philippines rewrote that story. The underdog revealed a secret weapon, not a warship, not a missile, but something far more ingenious. The Philippine Department of National Defense unveiled Project Banca X, a revolutionary maritime drone program. Years in the making, kept under the tightest secrecy, it caught the world's intelligence agencies off guard. The program transforms the nation's iconic outrigger canoes into a massive fleet of unmanned surveillance vessels. Not just a handful, but hundreds, maybe thousands already patrolling Philippine waters. The international reaction was immediate. Analysts scrambled. Beijing was silent but worried. Washington expressed cautious optimism. The term ghost fleet is now on everyone's lips. These drones look and move like simple fishing boats, but they're the silent eyes and ears of the nation. This is a story of turning a long, hard-to-defend coastline into a formidable strength. Banca X is more than a military strategy, it's a new way of thinking about defense. It leverages tradition, community, and accessible technology to create a powerful deterrent. Tonight we dive deeper into this incredible story. How were these ghost boats born, how do they work, and how are they reshaping naval power in Asia? The world is watching the Philippines, a new chapter has begun. The rules of the game in the South China Sea have changed, the underdog has found its voice and the future of maritime security may never be the same. Project Banca X was born out of necessity. The Philippines, an archipelago of over 7,600 islands, has a coastline longer than the mainland US. Patrolling this vast area with conventional ships was impossible. Foreign vessels, illegal fishers, military ships, often entered Philippine waters unchecked. The answer wasn't more warships, it was hiding in every coastal village, a secretive task force of naval strategists, engineers, and fishermen asked, why not use the humble as a platform? These boats are everywhere, no one would suspect them. Workshops disguised as boat repair shops quietly recruited local craftsmen and young engineers. The goal, a drone that looked like a regular boat but was packed with surveillance tech. Funded through hidden budgets, the project created a true ghost fleet, indistinguishable from thousands of other fishing boats. They blend into the maritime landscape, invisible yet ever-present. The result? A persistent, widespread monitoring network the Philippines could only dream of before. These sentinels now watch silently, protecting sovereignty from the shadows. The nation's greatest weakness became its greatest strength. The Banca X fleet is the ultimate low-profile defense. The genius of Banca X lies in its disguise. On the outside, it's a traditional outrigger canoe, marine plywood, bamboo, iconic silhouette. But inside it's a marvel of modern engineering. A disguised mast holds a 360-degree camera and thermal sensors capturing ship details from miles away. Beneath the hull, acoustic sensors track vessels by their engine sounds, even in fog. Power comes from nearly invisible solar panels and hidden batteries, allowing silent operation for weeks. A compact satellite module transmits encrypted data to Manila in real time. The fusion is seamless tradition on the outside, cutting-edge tech within. The Banca X is a 21 saint century Trojan horse, peaceful in appearance, powerful in capability. It's a self-sustaining sentinel, always watching. The Philippines now sees what happens in its waters as it happens, old and new, perfectly combined. Banca X has changed the rules in the South China Sea. Naval power is no longer just about warships, it's about information. The Philippines can't outgun its neighbors, but now it can outsee and outthink them. The first advantage, persistence. Drones stay at sea for months, watching 24 7 They monitor shipping lanes, reefs, and fishing grounds, nothing goes unseen. Second presence, dozens of drones surround intruders, all looking like innocent boats. The psychological effect is powerful. Every move is recorded, every action observed. This soft power de-escalates tensions. It's hard to act aggressively when you're on camera. Third, preemption. Real-time data lets the government act before incidents escalate. Coast Guard vessels can be dispatched early, diplomatic protests backed by video evidence. Illegal fishing fleets are warned off before damage is done. The Philippines now controls its maritime domain like never before. Information is the new ammunition. The ghost fleet is a game-changer. The tables have turned. Banca X is powered by the people. 
This isn't a top-down military project, it's a grassroots movement. Coastal communities build and maintain the drones in small workshops, creating jobs and reviving local economies. Veteran boat builders and young technicians work side by side, blending tradition with innovation. Local hubs staffed by former fishermen and volunteers monitor and operate the fleet. This decentralized model makes the program resilient, no single point of failure. Knowledge and skills are spread across hundreds of communities. Local operators know their waters best, spotting anomalies and directing drones with expertise. The people aren't just building boats, they're defending their nation. The Banca X fleet is the eyes of the archipelago powered by Filipino hands and hearts. Community is the backbone of the ghost fleet. National defense has never been so personal. Banca X's impact goes far beyond defense. It sparked a wave of innovation and national pride. The project has created thousands of skilled jobs, especially in rural coastal areas. Traditional boat building is now high-tech, revitalizing local industries. New businesses supply components, stimulating local manufacturing and reducing imports. Universities have launched programs in marine engineering and robotics inspired by Banca X. Students work on real-world challenges, pushing the project forward. Most importantly, Banca X has transformed the national psyche. It's a symbol of self-reliance and quiet strength, a uniquely Filipino solution defending Filipino interests. The ghost fleet is uplifting the spirit of a nation. To understand Banca X, listen to those who build and operate it. Mongili, a master boat builder says, I used to build boats to catch fish. Now, I build them to protect our future. He teaches young engineers the secrets of the sea, blending old wisdom with new skills. Rina, a software developer, returned home to join the project. My code helps protect our territory. Together, we build something powerful. Local leaders see hope and empowerment. Mayor Santos says, we're no longer helpless. Our community is part of national security. Fishermen, once suspicious, now see the benefits. Benji says, illegal fishing is down, the reefs are recovering, these drones are our watchdogs. The ghost fleet is more than technology, it's a partnership between generations, a source of pride, and a guardian of livelihoods. The people feel ownership and purpose. The seas are safer, the future brighter. Banca X is a living symbol of unity, it's the spirit of the ocean protecting its own. Every boat tells a story of resilience. Every drone is a promise to the next generation. The nation stands together, watching over its waters. The silent sentinels are not just machines, they are the soul of the Philippines. The people have found their voice. The Ghost Fleet's true test came near Scarborough Shoal just two months ago. A large foreign Coast Guard vessel entered disputed waters, shadowing Filipino fishing boats. In the past, this would have forced the Filipinos to retreat, but this time, Manila's command center watched in real time. Instead of sending a warship, they activated the Banca X network. Dozens of fishing boats converged, forming a silent perimeter. No threats, no weapons, just presence and cameras. The foreign crew realized they were surrounded, every move recorded. The psychological pressure was immense. After an hour, the foreign vessel withdrew. No shots fired, no escalation. The ghost fleet had won with information, not force. The drones resumed their patrol, invisible but ever-present. This incident proved Banca X's power, sovereignty defended, conflict avoided. The quiet strength of a hundred watching eyes changed the outcome. The unveiling of Banca X is a defining moment for the Philippines. The humble is now a symbol of modern ingenuity and resilience. The program proves that strength comes from smart ideas, not just big weapons. Banca X has inspired a wave of innovation, blending tradition with technology. The model is spreading, from defense to disaster response, from agriculture to education. For the world, Banca X is a blueprint for smart, asymmetric defense. It shows that small nations can leverage their unique strengths to deter larger powers. The Ghost Fleet is a lesson in resilience, resourcefulness, and quiet sovereignty. The Philippines has found a new way to defend its home and heritage, the silent sentinels patrol the seas, a legacy just beginning. 